Your Aunt Melly's coming in on Sunday for a couple of weeks. She'll be staying at home? Of course. I'd like you to come over and meet her. Certainly. I've asked her to give you away, if that's all right with you. Sure, why not? Ben. I've been hearing rumors. What kind of rumors? Pretty disturbing rumors. People are saying the child Teresa is making his tears. I heard the rumor. And? I know better. There is talk she has been driving around with one Errol Myers. A young man recently separated from his wife. They work together. He's a traveling officer. There are times they have to go out together to investigate cases of need. And you're sure that is all there is between them? Well, that's what she told me and I believe her. I don't like that kind of talk. In a small community as this, there will always be talk. I have been hearing talk that her folks put some kind of spell on me to make me marry her. I don't pay any attention to them. I don't think you should either. I don't normally. But when one hears that kind of talk about his son's wife, he just can't dismiss it. I appreciate you telling me what you heard. Ben, I've been looking at the property at Bacalet that's for sale. I can make the down payment. I'm sure you and Teresa can pay the monthly installment. We have been through this already, Dad. I want to do it on my own, with my own sweat, with my own hands, my own brain. That way what I achieve would be mine. Don't forget to drop by on Sunday. Everything is just fine. You sure it's not twins? I'm sure. You can't say if it's a boy or a girl. I'm afraid that will have to remain a surprise. Thank you very much. I'll certainly make it my duty to be there. Right, pull yourselves down. Stretch those muscles, stretch them. Okay, enough of that. Now we're going to do some more running around the trap. Alright, let's start it here. What do I owe this honor? I saw you and Ben flirting. You've been stupid again. Ben is getting married next week. Judging from the way you looked at him, I didn't think you knew that. Now, 
we are going to do some serious work on the battle passing. That is where we could lose these relays. You two are going to do the first legs. You two do the second. And you two will do the third. Now when you hand over, you don't slow down. You go straight on and place the battle firmly into the hands of the person you're handing over to. Now that person would not be standing still. They would be moving on. You can't afford to waste a split second on the changeover. Every leg of the relay is important. Any weak leg is going to put pressure on your teammates. Now we're going to spread out and try the battle passing. Sorry about all the trouble I gave this evening. No trouble. Now. All it means is that you have to work a lot harder. All of you. Do you think we can make it? I'm sure you can. There's a lot of promise in the team. All you need to do is a bit more work. What about me? You have the potential. If you really want to succeed, you have to have the guts and the discipline. Do you think I can win an athletic scholarship? If you work hard at it, I'm sure you'll win one. Will you help me? Certainly. Mr. White? Yes, indeed. Where did you learn so much about athletics? I did some training at college. I used to run. What distance did you do? I did the 400 and a bit of eight. Were you good? I thought I could have made a team to the last Commonwealth Games. But I tore a ligament and I had to stop training. How did you manage to tear the ligament? Well, I started doing some weight training. But wait, make the muscles tighter. I suppose I didn't warm up enough. And I was doing some speed training, 50 meter sprint. And I was under the qualifying time for the 400. A pity. I don't think I would have made the team to the finals though. But it would have been an honor for me to represent my country. Maybe one day you will. I'd like that. But I think you'd be better at the 200. Just I have to build some more condition. Maybe I would. But I think you better stick to the 100. Okay, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. 